Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Hi guys, welcome to our channel. We are going to be doing a workout video. Yes, this is a good idea, because um, obviously we are not able to get into the gym. A lot of you probably aren't either, so you get a workout from home. And, and Boo's going to work home. out too. He loves to work out. We've been lazy bums ever since we haven't been able to go to the gym, so we thought of doing a workout video to show you guys some exercises you can do too. And I also want to break down some stuff that people do wrong. I don't like it when people lift wrong. Well, let's address a couple perfect, things. I'm not perfect, but there's a lot that I see that happens. First of all, I need my, my hair cut up to like here, because... I'm not gonna cut it that high, but I'm just saying, like, look at all these split ends. Up to like there. See all them split ends, even? Oh, up? yeah, you do. Wow. They're Sad. bad. Yeah, they're really bad. Let's take like an inch trimmed off. Really like, about. probably an inch and a half or two inches, actually. But, um, anyway, so people complain that I'm not doing my boxing good. Um, well, first of all, y'all, I've only done it two times in my life. So, of course, I'm not gonna do it, right? Hey, I thought you were getting some good power in, though. I, yeah, it's my stance. Time. It's my stance. I can't get like when I kick when I do the kicks I can't I don't have a proper stance like I'm, I need to build up the stability like when I At the gym when I do certain workouts, I actually can um, Like I get used to it and I actually have that Core strength where I can right, actually right. do it correctly. You gotta be able to use your whole body in one solid motion with, to be comfortable with it. It's, yeah, and with a new workout, I can't, I have to learn, I have to get comfortable with it before I'm gonna be good at it. Alright, the first thing that I see that people always mess up on is dumbbell curls. So, most people, which I'm gonna let Ashton be our model here because that's what she is anyway, right? No. Okay, so you hold that. A lot of people do it the wrong way that I always show you, so we let them know what the wrong way is. Most people will bring their arm. Up and then they'll let their shoulder go with it like they're doing a full raise. Like that. Yeah, that is not a, that's not a curl in any means, guys. You're not even using the actual you're muscle. You're not using you want. the correct muscle, yeah. This is what you're trying to use your bicep here. But if you lock your elbow against your side and then you do the motion, or you just try to limit as much as you can, you can I mean even if I feel her muscle right here, I can feel that it's using only that. It's not trying to grab any other part of the shoulder to throw it up or anything like that. It's not improperly using it. So if you guys have problems with biceps, lock your elbow against your side. We're not pros, but we've been working out for what? Like six, six and a half. Six years gym membership? Six, well, I started working out right after Zoe was born, a month after. Now we can jump into shoulders. So I'll do this one since you did the last one, hun. You guys may be looking at this thinking, hey, that's only 10 pounds. You don't want to use a lot for your shoulders. You ever try throwing up a 35 at a full extension? You could kill somebody doing this shit. Throw your shoulder out. Oh, that oh, is yeah. so bad to try. I like kettlebells because when they rotate, the weight always goes down, so you can just lift. Nice and slow. See that? Mm -hmm. Yep, you just raise them up and then you let them go down slow. And always go down slow too, because you gotta work your negative too. You can't just throw it up and then throw it. Can I walk out with you guys? I love you guys. You guys are so cool. So, say hi, Ozzy. Say hi. Look at the camera. You don't want to say hi to them? To. Oh. Ooh, you all right? Yeah. <laughs> Clocked you in the hand. I usually do three sets of ten, or you can do four on eight. You can do five on five if you're doing heavier weights. Why did you just flash me? <laughs> And we're making a video, God. Get rid of that, boom. You're making this very difficult to do, you know that? You're gonna get it, woman, let me tell you. Okay, so frontward to back, um, lifting the weights. Yeah, we gotta finish three, here we go. Ready, guys? <laughs> You don't gotta go heavy for full extensions. Don't sit there thinking, I need to look like, hey, we gotta look like Rambo up in here. How do you even, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so start low and work your way up because that's how you get strong. That's right. You don't get strong by doing the technique wrong. That's SpongeBob not... had it right. It's all about technique, guys, it's not about weight. The weight comes with the technique, it's not the other way around. But you can, you can do it wrong, like while you're learning, you know, you're obviously gonna do it wrong. But you then you'll to. get the stance down, you'll get the 
like you'll get everything down correctly after you practice and then you can start going up. And these There's are just, a lot of things we're not that great at too still. Like we've done a lot of stuff and we're still not great at everything. Right, absolutely. You grab a good weighted dumbbell like. What? Get out of here, <laughs> God. So you grab a good weighted dumbbell. Like for me, I'm 160 pounds, 35 is a good weight for me and I work out a decent amount. So I'm gonna get down on knee here. All you do is you bring the dumbbell up behind your back forward, backward legs, and then you lift it up until your elbows pretty much lock right there. And you go slow because you don't work the negative. Boom. Boom. And that's it. And you can do, I mean, I do three sets of like 13 because I feel like 35 is still a little bit low for me. Triceps are a really strong muscle and you can usually go pretty high on them. With a 45, I probably do three and 10, but with a 35, I do like 312. Three sets of 12, I guess I should say that right. See what Ashton's working on right now is her butt. You can feel it. When she lifts that leg, it gets hard. You pulled. guys wanna feel it? No, they cannot. <laughs> so you can add resistance too to make this a little bit harder. You can Usually, add a weighted ankle brace. You, ow! Why are you biting my foot? Hold on, I gotta do my other leg, but. Usually I actually use um, the smithing machine and I do the donkey kickbacks or whatever they're called, donkey kicks, whatever. Um, but I use, I'll use 10 pounds on each side. Like I'll use five pounds on each side and then I'll go, I'll do one set of like 10 to 12 depending on what I can do. And then I'll do another set with five pounds on each side. And then I'll do the next one, I'll have 10 pounds on each side. And then sometimes I'll even do an extra set if I want with 10 pounds. Hey Ashton, check out how big this is getting from working out. <laughs> uh, I need some work still. Who could play at that game? So, um, yeah, uh, um, now I forgot what I was gonna say. It's so easy, is it? Oh, uh, You're editing all this. So, yeah. Now you can, now you can touch her. Hey, no you don't. Oh, you want to scratch the belly? Want to scratch the belly? Oh, let me feel your belly. Was that your nipple? Or is that an owie? You are so beautiful. Look at that precious. You just wanted an excuse to rub her tummy. Look at this precious tummy. It's too big. And always get the legs. What? <laughs> You're going to get it, I tell you. Stop. Okay, what? Hey, we need to focus on getting this video done. done. <laughs> okay, what do I do? Bring your legs in as close to your body as they can go. Have some kind of weight or support. I'm you know, not wearing a bra. Seriously? There's no support. What? Wait. Okay, what? I, I don't even know now. Oh, God damn it, Ashton. <laughs> <laughs> what? We're trying to do a workout video here. Come you know, on. I can never take anything seriously. Oh. Okay, so. What? We do it every single hold. day. Calm down. You get it every day. You don't need to be all crazy. So, you gotta hold the legs down as close to the butt as you can get them, because that's just the, the, the best angle. Angle. <laughs> I can't do this. Okay, what? What are you doing this for? <laughs> You've done it like 10 times. Come on. You want me to curl up? Yeah, I do. Okay. One. Somebody said. John's doing the wimpy curl ups. He's having support on his feet. That those are the easy ones. Like whatever. That's how who you do it. Who is the idiot who said that? There you go. But you should be flexing the muscle too. Do not just think that you just have to bring your body up and down. That's not the actual workout. The workout is when you flex. It's tearing apart. Yeah, you're tearing apart that muscle. So you need to get some force in there. You gotta cause trauma. This has gotta be difficult. When I was a kid, I do like 300 curl ups at once, I'm not even kidding. And you just lock your legs under something. It's because you're not doing them right. You gotta have some kind of force being put into there. Flex them as hard as you can, make the curl up as hard as you can, put your arms higher up. If it's getting easier behind your head, you can do a lot of different little things that will make it a lot more worth it per curl. So those are good. Your leg, we're getting legs far away from the though. That's the only bad thing. Yeah, but my abs are killing. Feels good. And when you get them locked in closer, it actually, it hurts more. You can feel it a lot more. Because you don't have as much like resistance. Yeah. If you don't you're have... almost, 
you're almost working against your knees though at the top because when you get closer you can feel that there's stuff in the way so when you're trying to push forward you gotta kind of push through your own. You want me to do it for you? Yeah. So, you can do a full curl up, just straight up like that. Boom, simplest one. The higher up you put your arms and the further back behind your head you put them, it gets harder, so you do it, <laughs> god damn it. Squatty, all right. Sorry. <laughs> I go through the wall because you tripped me. Okay, on a real note, why you been uh, trying to get some or what? <laughs> Why do you want it? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> well, you're gonna, have, do. you're gonna have to wait till later. Can we just? What is on our um, wall? You were the one doing this to what me. What did you do on the wall? I got excited. When? Oh, when you were uh, flashing me That's so much. That's been there for like two months. Why were you flashing me so much in this? This was your idea to do this video, and you were ruining it. Yeah, this is actually a good workout too, guys. Just keep that leg straight. I don't always straighten it. I have long legs, so it's really hard to keep it completely straight like that. And if these, if you do these and you want to take it up another level too, you can add an ankle weight to the That's what plate. I do. I actually put a 10 pound uh, um, plate. Plate, yes, thank you. A 10 pound plate on my leg right here. Right. I do 10 of those. Anyway, guys, that was a prank video by Ashton. What? That was a prank brought to you by Ashton Summer. What, uh, what are you doing to me? I was trying to do an actual workout video and be professional here Well, for you once. guys get all in one, a prank and a workout video, so best of both worlds. I guess. We've been out of the gym for like two months now though with this, maybe a little well, bit more. Well, everybody so. has. We There's get... nobody that's going to the gym unless they have a gym or they... I mean, even like small apartment gyms are closed down, so... I know, that is crazy. We're just going to have to make our own gym then, aren't we? We are, but we gotta wait until like the fall time, which oh, sucks. Oh, shit. We just gotta find a way to work out during all this and do the things that, like we have a track in our yard. We should honestly go run. I've ran that track a couple times. You've ran it twice. I ran it more than twice. When? Because I ran it five times for three laps a piece. So what you talking about? One I never saw you do it the other three times. Well, you just because you didn't see me do it doesn't. I know matter. everything you do. All right, guys. Um, well, that was um the best video ever brought to you by Ashton Summer, and we will catch you in the next video. Peace.